You enjoying the photo shoot today? Yeah, it's lots of fun. Yeah? It's cool. good. Good. All right, so, um, I mean, break down your character in the, in the movie, first I, and foremost. Go. I am Lisa's assistant, and I work closely with Lisa and kind of know her a little bit and what's going Lisa on Lisa, played by Lisa, Nicola Burley, Nicola right? Nicola Burley, yeah. So, but I've worked with Nicola before, so we've got quite a good relationship okay. off screen as well, cool. so it comes across on screen, hopefully. Does that help with just the whole process in general? Like, you know, just... Um, Knowing each other. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, because we've got a good relationship anyway. We worked together for on a six week shoot before so we knew each other and we knew what each other was like to work with so we ended up laughing a lot which got in trouble for sometimes but no it was good it was good yeah. so we kind of sparked off each other okay um uh, Dan danny donnelly i know is like a relatively new director, director. Yeah. um how was it working with him and and did you feel that he had a specific style that you liked or maybe even disliked uh, it was it was a very informal director i think if you could say that and he kind of went with it, played it by ear as each day came. But no, I liked working with him, he was a good director. That's good. All right, so director out the way. Yeah. Um, we kind of touched on this, but only with Nicola. Yeah. Like, there's a huge cast, a lot yeah. of established artists, yeah. actors, um, loads of egos flying around on set. <laughs> Did that cause any problems for you? Was there any tension at times? Which is sometimes can be a good thing, because you need that to power some good, um, nice, intense scenes. Yeah. Um, so be real, be honest. Okay, egos. Look through a little bit sometimes. Yeah? So, yeah, sometimes. It, do you know what it is? It's a clash of people's uh, ideas and opinions of maybe how something should go and obviously maybe the director's got a different opinion of how a scene's going to play out and an, uh, an actor thinks it's going to go this way in the head so sometimes it's a little so, bit... So creative disputes yeah, then, creative, if you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. that's very... Okay. Well All right, so in one sentence, yeah. tell me or tell the audience or the readers, favour my readers, why they should go and see Payback Season? Oh, one sentence. It might be a paragraph. Right. Or a paragraph. <laughs> I'll, 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 let, I'll, I'll let you do what you want. Right. Can I have some extra words? Yeah. Uh, you should go and see Payback Season because it is a compelling, thrilling story. There's not been a film like it, not to my knowledge anyway. It's got a great cast, I would say that because I'm in it. And it is very well written, very well directed, and hopefully very well acted. Wicked. That's a very good sentence. Compelling, thrilling, sound like a, a little advert from The Guardian <laughs> or something. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, so what, what one thing kind of inspired you, or maybe it weren't one thing, yeah. but what things inspired you or motivated you to get into acting in the first place? Um, I think I know one thing you're going to say, but carry on. Do you? Uh, maybe, I don't know, I'm guessing. Are you guessing. a mind reader? No, I'm not a mind reader. I'm just we should have written this down so I'm, I could know I'm, what you're I'm guessing, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I got into it. I like to be creative, so I kind of I started off modelling and then ended up acting. But I've got um, two little boys, so I just do it for them, really. I knew she was going to oh, say that. You? That's why. That's <laughs> what I said. That kind of leads me on to my next oh. question because I obviously oh. being a mother of yeah. of two, you've two. got two boys, right? Two boys, yeah, um, Dylan and Jacob. I've got four <laughs> kids myself, oh. and like it's so hard juggling your career and your home life and whatever so really how hard. do you how do you deal with it how do you make it happen i know you're a single mum as yeah, well yeah i'm a single mum so yeah um i don't do you know what i don't even know sometimes how i do it but my, my mum's brilliant and mm. helps me out a lot so she's got she looks after the boys when i'm working but they're at school and nursery which is good but it's just literally just juggling everything and trying to like fit everybody into places and then yeah. there's after school club but I suppose I'm lucky because I don't work every single day of the week but when I'm working and I'm away it's hard I was away for six weeks before Christmas and it was just a killer difficult yeah, yeah no, I have to do it a lot as well yeah. and you know what I mean is it the same for you where you kind of you know sometimes you miss vital moments yeah. in their development oh, and their progression their first yeah. time they walk or stuff like that you have to see on Skype or yeah. hear it over the phone yeah. is it, how, how do you make up for that because what I usually do is when I've been away for six months I and I come home, I just buy them stuff Christmas. all the time and <laughs> take them everywhere all the time <laughs> to try and make up for it. What do you do? Yeah, the same. My eldest son Dylan says to me, when, when are you going away again on a job? He said to me the other day, How, when's your next big job? Because I want a PlayStation 3. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, so we'll get back to, to payback season. Yeah. You, you took on the role, obviously, and I mean, in, in screen time terms, you've got a lot less screen time than, yeah. than, the, than the other main cast. Yeah. Um, do you feel that even though if you've got a small bit of screen yeah. time, you can still have a huge impact over a movie and, and a piece? Yeah, I think um, maybe not like a massive impact, but I think you can like lead your scenes maybe and take mm. control of those and take them in a direction or maybe do something that the director hadn't envisaged with your character and then yeah. you think, so yeah, that works.